All right, guys. Tony Rudolph here. Um, just want to make a quick video showing you something new I got, and um, and show you my first time using it. So, um, and also I want to give a, a big shout out to Cut and Clean Lawn Care Andy. Um, I don't really know him that great or anything, but uh, I seen him using one of these on his video. And I'm like, man, you know, why have I been doing it? For years, I've just been doing it with a regular half-inch um, ratchet for my whole life. I've always done lawn care. I've never done anything besides lawn care. So, anyway, let me show you all this. Um, I got rigid 18-volt uh, lithium with the drill and the impact driver. And um, I seen Cut and Clean Lawn Care using that on his mower blades on a video, and um, he he wasn't um, it wasn't even the main point of his video. But I just seen it in there and I'm like, man, that's a fabulous idea, because I didn't really want to get like a an air one and do all that hoses and stuff, um, because it it doesn't especially mine. I've never had a problem with them not being tight enough, even with the ratchet with the long ratchet. I mean, you can wrench. You, know, you get a board prop it under there and you can get it tight and also you can get it off but I figure hey I might I don't want to do that so I'm gonna buy one of these 160 bucks as you can see on the box it's a lifetime thing if you register online which I did it comes with a nice little pouch charger two batteries just like you see here um, I used the drill already it's great um, so anyway my first time ever trying it, I'm believe I've never tried it. Like I just opened it and I've never done it. So let's see how it works. Cause you're gonna see the first time just like me. Oh, and another thing, this jack right here, Jungle Jack, it's called. Jungle Jim's Jungle Jack. These are amazing for zero turns because walk behind is pretty easy to jack it up. And I know a lot of y'all have those big jacks, which that's really, those are, yeah, that's a good way to do it. But I like this because um, when it's down, you just put it under there and you just pull down and pop it up and it has the correct angle. See, it's like more laid back than an L. So once you get it down, like it it wants to hold itself under the mower. So it will not, will not fall. Um, great design, great little tool. I think you can buy them on eBay around 200 bucks, I think. Um, I got it for, I've had it for a while. Made my life so much better getting this little tool. I know that's off topic. The main reason for this video is to show you the impact. And uh, it's a 15 sixteenths. Um, I got, you gotta get the little adapter. And um, like I said, I've never tried it, just opened it. So y'all don't laugh at me if I'm not that good at this, um, cause I'm, Gonna try it right now. I've never used one, never had one of these drills. Let's see how easy it is. I tell you all this, I'm sold. I'm sold on that. No boards propping. You've seen how long it took. It's not sped up or anything. I mean, it took me, I don't know, a couple of seconds to take those off. Those blades are in pretty bad shape. I might sharpen them one more time and then I might stick a new set on there. Let me show y'all real quick how I do. Um, let's see if you can see. See, I put thing on. I just put my hand here to block the light. But um, 
Raptor blades there. Keep it set for the 48 Ferris there. Set for the Toro 30 down there, which um, the 30 inch blades really last forever. So it's not even mandatory really to have them handy, but um, but I do. And um, anyway, so that's how I do that. You just put one, let me show you all better view. One screw right in the hole of the blades, like where you put it on the mower, and then two there to help stabilize it from wiggling. And I just store my blades there. Have one set ready for each mower, and you can either sharpen the ones you had or switch them out, or put those on the mower, sharpen the set, and put them on right here so they're ready. But man, I love that drill, that impact. That's gonna make my life so much better for sharpening. As you can see, those blades are in pretty rough shape. Been dusty here and you know, I've been hitting a few rocks and stuff because I still have some kind of rough yard. You all know how that goes. So, anyway, sorry for the randomness or whatever. I'm just looking rough. It's Sunday afternoon. I need to get, you know, I'm just trying to get things switched out and sharpened for the week and whatever. But anyway, I was just showing you this rigid kit. Great warranty, great price. Um, you know, I believe it is worth, you know, every bit of $159. It's got neat little features on it, a little button that you can press and show you how much battery it has and a little LED light and the drill is fantastic. I use it on my trailer to put a couple boards as I've seen some of y'all on YouTube do. Um, so like the mower doesn't roll. I mean it has a part and brake but you know just a little extra security behind front behind the big wheels. So when you back it up, boom, it just kind of locks in there. So I did that. So anyway, just uh, hope y'all are having a great day and just telling you about that. Hey, I don't know why I haven't been doing that for years. I mean, as you, I mean, I would just wrestle, wrestle with them. Um, you did have to impact it for a second before it loosened up, and I'll do the same when I put them back. But hey, sold on that. I'm doing it like that from now on. <laughs> y'all have a great day. Talk to you later.